The global economy's backbone runs atop the supply chain industry. From delivering your products to shipping out raw materials and supplies, every item you interact with has been packaged and processed somehow. E-commerce has affected the shipping industry in a great way that there's a lot more volume, a lot of extra packing material, a lot of wasted space in boxes. We're seeing distribution centers pop up in all kinds of big areas uh, close to cities like New York City, Los Angeles, that everybody wants next day delivery where you can't get there from Salt Lake City, for example, so you set up a whole bunch of other warehouses and it's changed the cost structure of the trucking companies. So it's been a, a very, uh, very difficult thing for them to take on. The main pain points that e-commerce companies face are, I think, speed, and it's related to inaccurate data and manual labor. When you automate the dimensioning process, you reduce labor costs, you take the manual aspect out of it, and you increase the accuracy of the, the data output. You re reduce the risk of having an individual in a warehouse with a tape measure, and that helps increase the speed for e-commerce companies as they're trying to fulfill these heavy demands from consumers to fulfill in one to two days. As commerce continues to grow, companies need efficient and smart shipping solutions to keep up with demand. Automated dimensional scanning is one such solution to help fill the gap in packaging. The way automated dimensional scanning works is we take sensing technologies such as ultrasonics. Sometimes we'll use infrared light. Other times we'll use three-dimensional camera sensing technology, even lasers to scan for the dimensions of an item. Those sensors will send a signal out and then we look at the, the data coming back from that signal and we have programming and algorithms in place in our devices that will then interpret those signals into accurate length, width, and height information. I see some of the far-reaching advantages of using dimensioning technology as environmental and using multiple types of technology. We're all aware of the environmental problems that come with using excess packaging. Dimensioning helps optimize that. It helps reduce the package size and the dunnage that you use, those costs are real in terms of what the company wastes, but they're also environmental costs that come with that. Since the 1980s, Cubiscan has been developing dimensioning solutions for companies all over the world. As a designer, manufacturer, and seller of dimensioning and weighing systems, Cubiscan provides industry-leading measurement data so companies can save on shipping, storage, and packaging solutions. So what makes uh, Cubiscan unique is the broad range of uh, dimensioners that they provide, things from the smallest units to very large units like automobiles or trucks, and then the lasting capability that they bring, the reliability of their equipment and the long tenure that it doesn't break down. I can buy something cheaper, but if it's breaking down in a year or two, do I really want that in a work environment? So Cubiscan's uh, quality and the broad range of products really set them apart. Cubiscan, or Quantronics, got started in 1987 when the U.S. government distribution depot in Ogden, Utah had a need for accurate dimensional information on hundreds of thousands of items they stored in their warehouse. One of the founder's fathers worked for that defense distribution depot. He approached him and wondered if some of the sensing technologies he was testing could be used and he put together the first Cubiscan device called the Cubiscan 100 using ultrasonic sensing technologies to automatically scan for dimensions of items. As a company with over 30 years history of meeting customers' needs, Cubiscan has set its sights on the future of dimensioning. I see the future trends in dimensioning being very similar to consumer trends. Dimensional devices in the past have been larger and a little bit more bulky. I see it being just like consumer devices where they want a smaller device, but they want the data to be just as rich and usable. That's going to be the same with us in, in dimensioning. When it comes to the data, I think people want to have the ability to slice and dice that data to use it across different devices and platforms and locations. So dimensional data is going to be ground zero for big data and the Internet of Things as we move into the future. Cubiscan is planning for the future of the dimensioning industry by having a continuous investment in our R&D efforts to continually evaluate new and state-of-the-art sensing technologies to stay on top of uh, the available technologies that are out there to scan for the dimensions of items. Uh, we also invest in and consider adding more value to our products by integrating 
those products into more automated solutions that would include conveyor controls, uh, sortation uh, functions, so that we can uh, provide more value to our customers as part of a turnkey shipping solution. To learn more, contact us today.